Hey everybody, it's uh, Al here at Al's Tech Corner. Today we're talking about the A172 Venomotor. Okay, so uh, the way this furnace works is it's got a, a switch here. It's a safety switch, so if you take off the door, what's going to happen is that everything's going to shut down. That's just for safety, okay? So when this comes on, let me go back here. I'm going to put these wires back on here just to run it through a cycle for everyone. Okay. So the first thing that happens here is that this venom water comes on and this creates a vacuum over here in this hose and it closes this pressure switch. So all that does is it closes the contactor here and it sends it down here back to the control board which is over here. That sends a signal back up to this gas valve. And what that's basically saying is that this is actually running. That motor is running which means it's exhausted to the outside. Okay. So when that happens and it checks out with the control board down here back up here it'll start igniting. Once it ignites inside there there's a flame sensor. That sensor is flame. That's going to tell you that it's okay. There's gas is being burnt. It's not just raw gas being spewed inside here. Okay. So that's what's happening here. So we're going to change this motor out and uh, this should take us probably maybe five minutes we're hoping. Okay. So hang, hang on with us. Okay. So I'm going to take that out. I've already taken the screws out of here. This is hot, so watch your fingers. As you can see, it's already disconnected. I'm going to disconnect this. Now this motor still works, it's just that it makes a lot of noise. So now, the homeowner is going to keep this motor as a spare. At least this way here, you can always replace it. If the other one breaks down, you'll have something else to keep the house warm. Okay. All right. Here's the new motor. Okay, this is a Jackal replacement. Okay. There's a gasket. That's the old gasket. There's a new gasket on there, guys. Don't forget to put your gasket on. Okay. Uh, get that out of the way. Stand back. You're gonna cut yourself. Okay. Our first screw in. Another screw here. Yeah, if you don't put that gasket down in the back, you're gonna have a whistling noise. And it's real annoying. So make sure you put that gasket back in place. That's the main reason why it's there. It's not just for a seal for gas, it's also because it creates a whistling noise. Let's see, let's my tool here. Do -do -do -do. If you guys are bored here watching this movie, you can go make make yourself a coffee or have a beer. <laughs> so we're in Canada. So if you need this motor, you can go to uh, furnacemotors.ca. That's the .ca. Don't go .com because that means you, you're going to spend forever to get this motor. Okay. So if you go Canadian because you are in Canada, you'll get this motor the next day. Okay. You can call them at 1-888-301. 3337 and you'll get your motor right away and you'll get an actually a Canadian approved motor okay now if you buy it from the states a lot of these motors are approved in Canada so make sure you're buying Canadian guys CSA I don't know if most of you guys know what CSA means but you gotta make sure that you're buying Canadian don't get a don't get the wrong motor because if you have a problem you, you're local fire department or your insurance company might not cover you because they're going to tell you that you put in the wrong motor okay so we got one there this one there and we also got one over here one up top okay. this one's kind of hard to get out Here, see if we can get that in there, Brennan. I'll hold it for you. So, okay. That's Brennan. Brennan doesn't mind being on the camera. He's not as heavy as I am. No. <laughs> <laughs> and be besides, the camera puts 20 pounds on you anyway, so I'm not really that bad, even if you did see my face. <laughs> All right, it's in there. Okay, so let's give it a side. 
Okay, so make sure you put these nuts all on tight and make sure they're even. Because you don't want this motor on an angle, okay? You can bend you can actually bend the housing. And if you do that, then it'll make even more noise. So remember the four screws here on this one, okay? Now the original motor that was in there again, that was a Pasco, okay? It's no longer a Pasco. Okay, put your pressure hose back on. Okay. Now let's get back in here. Now we still got to put screws in there. But now we're going to wire this back up. We're going to see how much quieter this baby is. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, so go black. Black on the right. Neutral on the left. Okay, now let's hold the door switch closed. See what happens here. And there we go. Sounds very nice. Now don't forget to put your screws up here. Still have the screws here to put in. Okay. Alright. Now there's Brendan's girlfriend. I don't know what his password is. But... Okay, so FurnaceMotors.ca. Don't forget to uh, do a review for us, eh?